Well, it looks like there's something exciting cooking up on Sioux City's West 7th Street, especially for food truck lovers. I'm one of them. KCAU 9 News reporter Marina Bach shares the details behind this new project called the Yummy Blocks and how food truck vendors are reacting. I think this is going to be something great for Sioux City. It's going to be something new, yeah. something fun, you know, exciting. I think it's going to bring people out. German and Alejandra Mesquez have been in the food truck business since 2017. It's changed a lot from how we started to where we're at now and what there is out there to offer as well. Food Truck Fridays is out there and I know they do a few things out on the Mars. So they, they're starting to create this whole food truck community now. Peggy Law and John Kiosa are the couple behind Yummy Block. Pulling up to just one spot and then hooking up and ready to go. It's like a turnkey operation for them. Their new food truck hub will reside on their 10,000 square foot lot. So seven food trucks can sit here. Um, electric is provided for each food truck so they don't have to run their lot generator. Um, each food truck can run on their own hours. If there's no specific hours, just pull up, pull in, and plug in. The city of Sioux City has also had its hands in the project, helping with the site planning process and assisting with the tax abatement through the Hamilton Boulevard Wesley Parkway Commercial Tax Abatement Program, as well as providing $10,000 through a facade improvement program. The city for helping us get grants to help Push establish. Push Yep, they paid for the lighting and the fence. They helped pay for a percentage of mm -hmm. that. As the snow begins to melt, the new food truck site hopes to soon start welcoming Siouxlanders and vendors onto the site. It needs a little bit of cleaning up, but overall, it's pretty much ready to go. Ready to go. Yummy Blocks is going to be a really good spot for people to just come out and be outdoors more than anything. In Sioux City, Marina Bach, KCAU 9 News.